Away from that, Governor Babajide Songolu has restated his commitment towards ensuring that the blue and rail, red rail lines commence operation this year. He gave this assurance during an inspection of the mass rail projects on Monday in Lagos. The rail lines are part of the state's government's vision of an integrated multi-model transportation system. It is contained in the state's strategic transport master plan. Plus TV Africa's correspondent Lavi Kukoyedokun was there and now reports. Governor Babajide Sawunlu, accompanied by some members of the state executive, expecting ongoing work on the blue and red line projects in Lagos. The governor was out to ascertain the level of work done by contractors handling the projects. First, he was at the Yabo terminal, later moved to the Oyingbo train terminals, and then Marina station. The Marina terminals of the Blue Line will be an elevated station. It's to be a transportation hub offering intermodal transportation services. The visits to the sites didn't leave the governor and his team disappointed. The contractors were on site working round the clock to ensure they meet deadlines. I'm happy to, and as you all have seen, I'm happy to report that um, the construction are going on according to schedule. Um, all the contractors, you can see even today being a working day, they were all on site working. Um, you could see where we started from at the iconic Ikeja station, which will be the main iconic station for the red line. Um, it's almost the same size of Marina, which is going to be almost 200 meters um, train concourse. In February 2021, the Lagos State Government announced that the blue and red lines will start operation by December 2022. This date, Governor Saunu said, remained sacrosanct. The real works um, at Ikeja is going on well. The overpass um, from Obafemi Aulowo onto Agege Motor Road, you could see also um, the stabling yard that everything is on course. Um, we're hoping that um, they will even finish, especially the bridge component, slightly ahead of schedule because of the traffic impact that it has for motorists in that corridor. We push them to ensure that maybe by the end of the third quarter, the bridge should be completed. When completed and fully operational, the project is expected to change the transport landscape in Lagos. From Lagos, Love Ikuku Oyedoku for Plus TV, Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.